Welcome back there, Armchair Warriors. Tom here with another episode, number 38 of uh, XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, heavily modified. Uh, we just finished a mission where we picked up a, uh, a new soldier, uh, got some intel and other things as well, so some pretty cool stuff in that regard. So we were building a radio relay, but we just popped in here into uh, a new assault mission available, which we can potentially do. Um, it's for 64 intel. Seven enemies only. That's nice. Um, there's a Spectre, Advanced Pathfinder, Advanced Pathfinder Hunter, Advanced Trooper, and an Advent Mech. So there's still two other enemies of this ilk there. Probably another Advent Trooper and another Advent Mech. Um, we have to protect the device. That means we have to get to it. Uh, prevent them from shooting up the device. Um... Tech defense increased by 20, so if there's two Advent mechs there, plus not to mention the Spectre, I think is also a uh, inorganic or a uh, mechanized type unit. Yeah, the updated firewalls make it a little more difficult. We may have the Assassin showing up. Is it worth a 64 Intel? You know what? It is not. I'm going to ignore it at this point. Um, yeah, we, we need to save our personnel. Let's get this radio relay built. And then our very next thing we're going to be wanting to do, um, while I would like to get some rookies, yes, I feel that we need to take on the Abdul Black site. Setting course for the Western US. But I want the radio relay built first, so we, going forward we have the North America bonus of every mission. There's a chance of an extra or a resistance soldier showing up and helping out. Uh, destroy the alien relay. Expires in four days. Uh, counter dark event collateral damage. Uh, she might be seeing the hunter. There's nine enemies total. So what do we have here? Advanced paladin bioburster. Don't know what that is. Advanced trooper. Advanced, Advent stun lancer. A muton. Sectoid commander. Traditional snake. Advent hunter. So that's seven. There's two others, which is probably like uh, the Advent Troop, the Advanced Trooper, and Stun Lancer are probably extras in here. <sighs> Collateral damage. I think this is the dark event where Advent Troopers carry extra grenades. May carry extra grenades. We don't care about this. Again, I only have seven personnel. I want to. I want to finish this radio relay um, and get my. Um, yeah, get my get my Abn Black Sight mission on because we got to do that. So this will be finishing up. This, this, this. The Codex Brain also finish up. Removing bad traits, proving ground, build basic PCS will be finished. Heroes welcome. Let another Reaper in. Perhaps by the time we're ready to go. Yeah, let's get Our let's get the stuff have done. succeeded, and the elders grow fearful. <laughs> Infiltration mission, recover Templar affiliated operative. Oh, this is for. Wait, this said Templar affiliated operative. I don't see where we have that. I mean, we're going for that. That's way down the road. We could rescue a scientist. Messy insertion. Okay. Could use another scientist. There is an unusual amount of psionic energy permeating this entire area, Commander. I would expect we will find various psionically adept aliens deployed in the field here. So yeah, a bunch of psionic, psionic troopers in the area. It's difficult, it says. Um, So many tech specialists. Let's send at least one tech specialist in the mix here. Barracks, yes. Let's send our phalanx and sapper together. Let's send them.
that's uh, it says unequip the barracks, but it did strip the gear equipment off of these guys. Smoke it up, pipe. Um, yeah, let's go with just four and see how we're able to, to handle this. Um, let's have a shield. You're okay. Otherwise, uh, our sapper doesn't need the skull jack. Um, we need. You can see what the enemy is. Probably not going to see the enemy until we're there, until we're fully infiltrated. Four days, we're going to confirm the, uh, yeah, we'll just 
Still have three wounded. I think. Let me double check. I think we still have a uh, engineer. Yeah, in the infirmary, the handling needs to be handled there. Yeah, we don't care about that. Maybe the resistance could learn something from me. Covered actions will be delayed by a week. The Holy Chosen are doing cow. whatever it takes to slow us down. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. So, nine days for rescue scientists, 16 days to remove the dark event. Recruit Reapers is 10 days. Holy cow. Wow. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. We're not going to build anything because we'll, we got that card that we can save. Uh, the guys are going to come here. And... Cuts it down now to nine days. We still have two more areas that we have to dig out. Commander, we're making progress piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling. Hey. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new sequence now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. I think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. Forget the data. It's accessing the power core. Overriding my safety. Increasing power levels to die and sever the connection. There. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The Codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. New objective added. Alrighty, so that, of course, progresses the uh, storyline a bit here. Uh, which, you know, yay, we need, we need to do, of course. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. 
However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. So cool stuff, huh? Um, so we could go ahead and do this. It'll take 14 days, but I think we should Commander. do some other research here first. <clears throat> Psionic weapons, eh, not right now. Black ice rounds would be pretty cool. Um, laser grenade, pretty cool too. Beam cannon, powered armor, plasma grenade would be really, really nice. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. Alrighty. The Chosen, known as the Assassin, seems to mirror the traits of the nobler warrior archetypes we know throughout our own history. Having witnessed, and more importantly, heard the unusual commentary delivered by this assassin, I cannot help but wonder the source of these unique personality traits. So, let's keep on progressing here. New objective added. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. I've marked the location Shen pulled from the Codex, Commander. It's a remote region, out in the woods away from any populated areas. We'll need to contact the local resistance forces if we want to get a closer look. So we can see, I mean, uh, this will be, this is another quest area that we have to go to. Uh, the reward um, is, of course, furthering your, your quest line, but nonetheless, it'll give us 175 supplies as well, which is nice. The um, that means detected sectoid abductor advanced trooper and elite priest so we got three of 11 there plus there's an unknown enemy one we haven't encountered yet so that's a fourth which means there's still seven of these types still in there <laughs> let's finish building this radar relay yep that's fine <laughs> grit my teeth when i say that here all negative traits removed. Let's double check here to make sure that we're... Okay, cool. Um, do we still have people that are wounded? Uh, let's check. We can just go view soldiers. Sort. No. So, we can pull our engineer off here. They're not really needed there anymore. And... So we can we can actually start having him with them. I'm not sure it's Oliver, okay. Excavate the one area that we can we can actually get to start to at least. We won't be able to uh, to do anything just yet. Alright, get the proven grounds popping up here shortly. CS A. Excellent. Welcome to the fight. Alrighty, so we got a little bit of extra income from there now, and content bonus granted. On our mission, there's a chance Advent and an Advent unit will join the XCOM squad. Okay, I thought it was a resistance unit. So that actually makes it much nicer, I feel. <laughs> okay. Didn't I warn you about pursuing the Elder's artifacts? You're not leaving me a lot of options. And your soldiers are the ones who will pay the price. 
Yeah, I don't think we're worried about that. So, we have 12 guys, so we can go ahead and do the... Now the question is, do I want to wait for the bond training? That's only 18 hours. So, so what do we want to... Rookies. Avenger plotting new course. Wait, we got room for 10 more people in here. Scientists and soldiers, because the engineers all have their own place. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. Um, we don't have to worry about another bond. Uh, bonding. Bichiki, bichiki. Yeah, bond training. Boop. So now those two have should be shown up ready. So we got 13 ready to go. Question is, do I want to wait for the mutant autopsy and wait three more days, even beyond that, for the experimental ammo to appear? It might be something cool that we could use. I say yes. Okay, don't really care, but okay. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. So advanced grenade launcher should be now available. Um, new research available, muton elite autopsy, proving ground projects, plasma grade age, okay. So we got an advanced grenade launcher, which yeah, we'll definitely be building. Uh, we can build more advanced, or a proving ground project, we can build advanced PCS. Yeah, we'll do that. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. So we do have some items we want to take a look at here. Um, so ultrasonic lure, nah. We'd love, yeah, we need AP and, and venom rounds before we can uh, get those two. soon I feel I probably could have saved a lot of time repairing the ship's systems if we had any idea how to translate their language unfortunately we don't come across many linguists out here 38 hours for the experimental ammo good um, we want a plasma grenade we'll get started right sure. away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete that will upgrade our grenades um, an exosuit would be pretty cool as well Alloys. Is there anything that I can build for just uh, supplies and uh, let's build some advanced PCS? A couple of those going. Uh, we can do another experimental ammo as well. And an experimental That gets us going. So at this point, we're going to do the Black Sight mission. Going for it right now. Uh, where are you? 125 supplies. Investigate the event back. Black Sight. There'll be 13 enemies. Oh, I gotta wait for this to redo because I want to see what, what we got here. So, enemy unknown. Advent Hunter. Advent Mech. Veteran Purifier, Advanced Trooper, Traditional Snake, Abbott Shield Bearer. So that's seven. The We don't know what the enemy unknown is. Um, and there's six other types here. Probably another mech or two, some additional uh, additional trooper or two, an additional snake. Uh, so yeah, and the hunter is going to be showing up too. Guaranteed. Setting course uh, for we Western have 14 United people. States. Pick our best. Then load them up with all the cool goodies we can give them. Uh, 
probably this is the best, I'd imagine. Let's unequip the barracks. Make upgrades available. Okay. So, field medic. Yeah, I can see that marine. Combat engineer, Templar. Assault number three. Field medic. Two field medics. Is that really... So, Godmother, can we bring Godmother on this? Or is she too tired? Or is she already out on a mission? Yeah, she's already on a covert action. Okay. Um, bring another assault infantry. Or bring a Reaper. Yeah, this could be a job for the Reaper. Because, yeah, I don't have. Two heavy weapon guys, but I don't have a, uh, a marksman type. <clears throat> All right. So Reaper armor, we can give you the plated armor instead. The vector rifle. Give you the Tempnotic instead, instead of a pistol. Give me the enhanced Shadow Keeper. Frag grenade. Give you the blue screen rounds instead. Got an advent mech for sure. Yeah, it's just the advent mech is the only one that the blue screen rounds will work on, but that's fine. That's that's that'll work for her, or for them rather. Um, advanced scope, plus ten aim, increase long range accuracy, decreased short, that's fine. Uh, they're not gonna be dashing. An ammo slot could be good. Um, plus five. Tile weapon range and reduce penalties if they didn't move. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, the only question I would have is if the free reload would be available. Let's say we fire with them as their final action, you know, the ends their turn, quote unquote. Does the advanced speed loader, since it's a free action, does that pop up immediately? We can use that, or we have to wait till their next turn? Probably have to wait till the next turn. Templar, we got Tempest Gauntlets, which that is the best, yes. 
mag auto pistol, which is the best, yes. Um, give him a skull jack because that's insta kill. Throw them in this. They're out of action for one full turn, plus they lose an action on their neck, so that could be good. That could be pretty cool, too. set here. We just need to add on some. Nope. Nothing we can do there. Sure. Okay. Alright. I think we're pretty much set at this point here. Let's get this going. You're deployed. In position to drop. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is call this episode here because it's 35 minutes, but this particular mission is going to take probably an hour. Um, I've had some pretty long episodes, for sure, but I don't want to be I don't be bumping up against like a two-hour uh, episode here. Um, so I think I'm going to end the episode. We'll, we'll scout, you know, we'll land, scout, see what thing, you know, things are going on. 
I'm going to end the episode, and then next episode we'll pick up right here on this mission, since it's going to be so long, and probably some after stuff as well that we'll need to prepare to, you know, deal with as well. Our contacts in the local but resistance yeah, this, shown this I've definitely been waiting the for. Black site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar, and we don't know what we're going to find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. Yeah, definitely be heavy opposition. Foes show. The black site is in your immediate vicinity. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. All right. The enemy is unaware of our position. So interestingly enough, we've gotten an advanced Paladin Tech Burster. We got an Advent unit along with us. Oh my god. And I've never seen this guy before either. Comes equipped with an EMP grenade and blue screen rounds. Beware, their shield burst can disable weapons. Uh, grants six shield points to the user. So this is passive. So they have six shield points and provides low cover for adjacent units. So they're almost kind of like a, a phalanx in a way. They're immune to electric damage. Um, uh, so that's because of shock. And because they're an advent unit, they're affected by any dark events in place. In this case, the sealed armor. <laughs> they are immune to fire, frost, and poison. Wow. So they have an MP grenade, raise blue shields around allies, disable enemy weapons. They can, so yeah, it's basically like a, a phalanx. This is freaking awesome. Six health, six shield, 12 total, so yay on that. Uh, 75 aim, which is pretty decent. No hacking to speak of. Okay. Very, very, very interesting. I am like tickled pink with that. Um, so basically, here's where we're starting. Our goal is to traverse all the way through here. There's 12 enemies total. Um, I don't think there's reinforcements that land, in all honesty. Don't think that happens in this mission, but I could be wrong. There may there may be a reinforcement boat that shows up, drops some troops off. We will have the chosen though. One of the chosen will be appearing in this mission for sure. Uh, but here's basically we just need to run up to here, take a investigate. I think there's something more we have to do inside here. But anyway, we'll we'll get that point. And then once we're once we're done here, boom, then we run out. Wow. I'm just, I, again, just blown away by the fact that I get this type of trooper, a phalanx unit, essentially, that's going to be helping us out. Thank you guys for watching. We will be picking up this very exciting episode here, uh, or mission, I should say, on our next episode overall. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.